I really just want a color and I'm not exactly sure what to color. So all I do is I just try to make different simple shapes and um, I do Zentangle designs inside. So today what we're going to do is we're going to draw some different geometric shapes and then just have fun with different designs um, and just relax and color them in however we feel. All right, so I'm going to start with some bold markers if you have them. If not, you can use your color pencils and just make sure you're drawing hard. So we're going to go right in and just start making different shapes. So I'm going to start in with a, a color green. I'm going to make a triangle. I'm going to make another triangle over here. Maybe I'll use the cool tone color. Maybe I have a gray color. Do a circle. We want to make sure we overlap these shapes too. Another circle over here. Think about other shapes. What about a heart? Maybe another heart down here. Maybe it's going off the page. So overlap and then off the edge of the page. Here, overlap, off the edge of the other side of the page. Maybe I'll try some purple so it does look like I'm doing the cool tone. And maybe I'm just going to do this like splat mark. Maybe I'll do a smaller splat mark. Okay, after that, maybe I'll get, I have a highlighter for a lighter color of blue. You can do maybe one more, just color. I'm doing this one off the side of my page. And I'm going to do a little rectangle that comes through here. All right, now after that, I'm going to take a look at my Zentangle design sheet. So here's an example of some Zentangle designs. And you can refer back to this if you'd like. After being inspired by some of my Zentangle designs, I'm going to go in and draw some of them um, with marker first or using a pencil really dark or a crayon. Crayon works really well for this too. So maybe what I'll do for this one, we'll try to use different types of, of materials. I'll use crayons. But again, marker or color pencil works just fine too. So in every blue one, I'm going to do a blue design inside of it and then I'm going to lightly color it in later. But when they overlap, I'm going to change colors. All right, so maybe my first little Zentangle design, I'm going to do a zigzag. And you can make them as detailed as you like or as simple as you like. That's up to you. I find with a crayon, um, it's harder to get too detailed. Um, I have another one down here. So I'm trying to keep this shape the same design. But again, up to you. You're the artist. You can decide if you want to switch them up. In my little zigzag pattern. After that, I'm going to take a different color. I have a green here. Here are my green shapes. Another green shape. Now I'm going to go into my blue shape. And you know what? This blue one, I'm going to use this marker. It's kind of make it a darker one. Same over here. And again, do whatever designs you would like. I've got my purple over here. Do blue. I 
and this one with colored pencil. I'm going to push really hard for this one. All right, then I've got my gray one. Bright blue in this one. I notice some of it is already overlapped with it. So I'm going to just pick up my pen and not go in that shape since it already has something in there. All right, and then I'm going to finish this one. And then we're going to color them. All right, so now I'm going to get color pencils or crayons to color the insides in. All right, so now I'm going to go in and color them different colors with um, pencils and crayons and whatever I'd like. But I'm going to try to make it so whenever I go into this, when they overlap, that I'll take some color from this and put it in here and some from this and put it in here. So I'll show you what I mean. So let's just say I'm coming in here. I'm going to put a green in here. And then let's say over here, though, I'm using orange, but I'm not using orange in here. I'll go ahead and color in this part with orange. So it matches this one. Maybe this guy I'll put on this marker if I want to make it brighter. So I'm going to pencil. So it kind of looks neat because it changes because they are overlapping. So it changes the color there. So what I like to do is I'm going to go ahead and color in all these different shapes, um, however you'd like. And then um, I don't normally like to have a white background, so I'm either with a color pencil or with a marker. I think I'm going to use yellow as my color because I want something lighter because these are all my cool tones kind of, and I'm going to make them pop out. So I'm going to make a yellow background and color all these in. All right, so I'm going to hit pause and go ahead and start coloring in all your shapes. All right, so I'm coloring the background with um, some yellow, but one thing I try to, to recommend is when you're using this, you kind of tilt your hand sideways, put the marker on its side. You can use marker, color pencil, or um, crayon, but when you go straight up and down, your lines are like that. It's hard to see, but it's a very thin line. If you go on its side, it tends to shade it in much better, and I'm just doing short back, forth, back, forth, little strokes, okay, and it will fill in nice and evenly. All right. Well, I hope you liked today's lesson. If you did, please like and subscribe, and I'll see you again soon. Thanks. Bye.